Good morning, Idaho. Very likely thunderstorms in the forecast for the next few days as a lot of that monsoonal moisture pushes in from the south and the southwest, and I'll show you that bigger picture in just a moment. But a flash flood watch has been issued by the National Weather Service, mainly for southwestern Idaho, but stretching up into our central mountains into the Sawtooth region, down into the Magic Valley as well. You can see Boise County is included there, so is the Upper Treasure Valley. Again, they've mentioned this morning it's kind of a toss up whether or not to include the Upper Treasure Valley, but they'll keep it there for now. The potential for very heavy rainfall coming along with these thunderstorms is there. They could be slow moving, dump a whole lot of water before those storms dissipate or move off to another location. You can see that moisture already pushing in, bringing showers to some of the Magic Valley and also eastern Idaho. And again, I showed, uh, told you about that bigger picture. High pressure that's helping to drive in that monsoonal moisture. But what's happening is there's a low pressure disturbance in our upper levels that developed off of the coast of Southern California over the weekend. And it is moving through Nevada at this point. Through yesterday, some heavy rain Rainfall fell in Las Vegas, also through parts of Southern California, bringing up to an inch and a half to two inches of rainfall within an hour. That's just too much all at once, and the ground can't soak it up, so they've been having some flooding concerns there. Even along the strip in Las Vegas, that low pressure system will traverse to the northeast as we make it through the next few days, and it will bring that precipitation into southern Idaho, bringing the chance for thunderstorms every day. Potentially through Thursday, it looks like our next best bet to see drier weather doesn't arrive until Friday. Now, the good news here is that with all of this moisture over our area, we will see the cloud cover stick around through the better part of the day, and that's going to keep those temperatures down. So, high of 90 today, and we kind of bounce around the mid 80s to 90 degrees all the way through the end of this week. So, maybe some good news, relief from the heat. We take a look at that Treasure Valley forecast for today. Highs will top out right around 90 degrees, some locations making it into the low 90s. Ontario is included in that, Weezer as well, possibly Emmett, but everywhere else in those upper 80s, flirting with 90 degrees. No triple digits in the forecast, at least not this week. And that wasn't the case through our very hot weekend we had last weekend. In the Magic Valley, staying in the 70 degree range with the exception of Shoshone, 80 degrees. Very likely to see that cloud cover stick around all day long. Thunderstorms even stretching up into the west central mountains. Heavy rainfall possible with those thunderstorms. And that's a similar story for the Sawtooth region as well, where that flash flood watch is in effect. Thunderstorms, you can count on it, heading through the next few days. So prepare for the worst, hope for the best, and when thunder roars, go indoors. You got to stay safe out there. Windy conditions could develop into this afternoon and evening as well, and it could be quite muggy with all that moisture hanging around through Thursday. Drier conditions for Friday, more seasonable temperatures, and then another hot weekend ahead. So summer doesn't look to be over just yet. I'll send it over to you. Of course not. We got.